Okay, and it's recording now. So you had to go to Penhurst for nursing training. I had to go to Penhurst for nursing training. So it was 1969. Um, I don't have a lot of information, um, but we did uh, take a field trip to uh, Penhurst. We were only in one of the buildings. Do you recall which building you were in? I don't remember what building we were in. It was a long time ago. But I, and I guess one of the reasons I don't remember um, what building I was in was because the place was so uh, shocking to me. I was um, 18 and um, when we walked in the door of this building, it was a very large, very large room, as I remember, and it was filled with cribs. And in each crib was um, a young man um, with hydrocephalus. They had, they were, it must have been the hydrocephalus ward. They had a lot of, um, most of them had very, very large heads, heads that were so large that it made it impossible for them to sit up or to roll over on their own. Um, but I think what struck me was that there were uh, two orderlies working um, among the men and one orderly would change the young man's, the patients, who were all young men, diapers, while the other orderly was uh, shaving and I, I, each patient. And I, I remember thinking to myself, um, it made such a big impression upon me because I remember thinking, here are young men my age that, um, so, that are old enough to shave but still wearing diapers because they were so incapacitated. Um, they were all extremely um, mentally challenged. They really didn't have any s recognizable speech and um, it was noisy because all of the patients were, um, I guess, hollering for attention and um, it smelled terrible because so many of them were um, wearing diapers that were either wet or um, had bowel movements in them. And um, the whole thing, if you're only 18, I guess you have heard about places like that, but until you see 50 or 75 cribs lined up with incapacitated young men. You just don't get the full idea of just how shocking it was. Um, and that's pretty much what I remember about Penhurst. So it was not a place you'd really want to be? Uh, no. In fact, I remember coming home and feeling, looking at my brother, who is three years younger than me, and thinking, you know, Except for incredible luck or good fortune, that could have been somebody in my family. And, and it really, um, it left a lasting impression. How long has this been now? 40, 45 years, something like that. And I still remember so clearly my absolute shock, and I guess I have to say horror, when I remember what these, I'm sure they didn't know how horrible things were because they were really mentally challenged, but um, I remember as a young person being very shocked by the circumstances that something so horrible could happen to other human beings. And that's pretty much what I remember about Pinhurst. Okay, thanks.